How are you all doing? How's things? Today I'm gonna try to attempt to do something a little bit different. Today I'm gonna try to show you how I uh, improve my guitar playing with just 30 minutes a day of practice. Sounds good? What do you think? Okay. I get asked all the time, do I teach guitar? Do I, you know, do I do lessons? And I don't, I'm not a big fan of getting into the uh, routine of having a student and weekly lessons. I've done it in the past. I would say I've been quite successful at it in, in, in teaching other people in the past, but the, I, my old, old, always big struggle is that I never got a long-term lessons. I did, I did try to go to lessons for a few different teachers over the years. Uh, it never lasted very, very long. And uh, I always found it easier for me, for me to learn my, go figure it out myself and learn myself. So I, I think it's kind of a little bit hypocritical of me trying to teach somebody and trying to expect a certain amount of patience from them uh, and from me to sit through those lessons and then do the homework when I wasn't willing to do it back in the day. But what I, what I can do and what I found really, really useful for myself in the past is coaching, which by that I mean like I can sit down with somebody and I can give them um, the tools to take away uh, and then work or something themselves because the way I see it to me good teacher is the kind of teacher that tries to make themselves useless uh, in the sense that the, the student learns everything they can and then go off unfortunately there's a certain amount of economics involved in teaching a lot of people make a living out of teaching you know every time you lose a student you lose uh, some of your income um, even that hopefully you have a new student coming in but that doesn't always work the way it is so and I'm I'm a big advocate of learning fast. I'm I, I like I like to remove the the complications, the so-called complications of the system out of the way, and I like to go for the, the 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 overkill and teach fast, learn fast. To me, I try to break down the whole process of learning to play guitar into a lot more uh, simple simpler chunks than and a lot of other people do. Maybe due to the fact that I don't really um, I don't spend too much time on things like theory. Um, I believe it's more to do with the muscle memory and how your brain and fingers work together um, and your hands. Well, your whole body is your instrument, as they say. And that's what I'm going to try to do here. I'm going to try to show you the tricks that I was given along the way and which I kind of then molded into my version of it. And which is something is I still go back to it if if I have anything that comes up that I feel is it like a trouble spot in my playing. This is the routine I go back to. This is the routine um, I did commit to for a very long time, um, and it's the, it's the routine that has made me so much better guitar player. It's the routine that has made me so much accurate, so much, um, my, it improved my timing, it, it, it has improved my, uh, both the hands, how they, they work on the instrument. So I'm hoping to give you some of these tips. Um, I've been thinking about doing this for a long, long time. I've been even writing down a kind of a little form of this on, on as it was supposed to be a blog post. I never got around to it because I always kept on pushing it away. Now that I do videos, this is probably the best way to show it anyway. Um, I don't have any of the notations or tablature for this video if somebody wants to do it. Um, just as I help the community get in contact with me, I love to I love to have that to be given with, with these instructions. Let's just get straight into it. This is, this is like a gym workout. This is not like uh, the little trick that you have to learn. This is the hardcore gym workout. This is um, how you build the muscles in your hand, how you build the finger dexterity, how you build all the tools you need for guitar playing. Right, so um, you need a couple of tools here and, and I recommend everybody I ever taught anything about guitar playing to have a couple of tools. First of all, metronome. Mine is the good old fashioned uh, mechanical one. You wind it up and it just keeps on going. This little baby keeps you in time. The reason why I like these old ones is because they never run out of batteries, so I've never an excuse of not practicing. 
These are not very expensive at all. Um, I'll include some links in the description of the video where you can get them. Uh, the one I have here works perfectly. It does everything I need it to do. But to, in the name of uh, not having any excuses, you can download apps, metronome apps for your phone for free. They work absolutely perfectly. You can buy electronic metronomes. Uh, a lot of tuners come with metronomes and which leads to the next point. I do recommend that you get a tuner uh, for your guitar because it does... You have to learn how to tune your guitar without a tuner, absolutely. You have to learn to use your ears, but in the beginning part, I believe that if you do use a tuner, it teaches your ears to hear the guitar in, in tune, and then when it's out of tune, it's, you know, your ears are gonna thought to that, you know, it, it's wrong. I use, at all my gigs, I use a Boss pedal tuner. Mine is old one, TU2, um, the older version of it. I don't think they make them. The, the TU3 is out at the moment, and that's their, the tuner. Um, I also have the TU3 tuner app on my phone, which which is when I don't have uh, from do acoustic work. This will this will do perfectly. And some friends of mine use the Snark tuners, which are great. Clip on tuners go to the headstock of your guitar. Um, I'm actually probably gonna buy one of the Dario ones, not the clip on ones, but the ones that you put in the sound hole because I like them to be very discreet and like I like to forget about them and just leave them there. But I'll talk about that some stage later on. If I get my hands on one of them, I'll show it to you guys as well. It's you need a guitar for this exercise. Um, you make sure the guitar is in tune, so tune it, and metronome to keep you in time. That's what we need for the this exercise. My guitar is tuned into Dadgat. D A D G A D. If this exercise. You, it doesn't matter. You can tune it into standard, you can tune it into whatever tuning you want. Uh, that's not the point of this exercise. The point of this exercise is that you do it and get your fingers moving. Um, so that the actual tuning doesn't really matter that much at all in this one. About metronome and timing. Everything I'm gonna teach you, I'm gonna teach you to do it the simple way, which is learn it slow. If you can play it slow, you can play it fast. That's That's the my method and that way of thinking. Uh, if you can't play it slow, you can't play it fast, simple as. So you have to start slow. And I want you to think of this as going to the gym. I'm gonna to refer to the gym quite a lot here. Uh, I want you to think of it like you're in the gym and you want to kind of cheat the system. You know, what, how to make a, that killer of a set a little bit easier for you. It's the same thing like, you know, in, instead of d doing less or, you know, a little bit lighter weights, in the, in the terms of playing, do it slower. And it's good to cheat here because the slower you do it, I think it has a better impact. If you try to rush and play faster and faster and faster and faster, you're skipping through the steps and um, it's gonna do more damage than good. And your, your playing will never be as accurate. So don't be scared to go slow in the beginning. In time, you speed up, but you, as you learn in this exercise, uh, doing it any faster doesn't get you anywhere faster. The idea is I'm gonna give you a certain amount of things to go through. Uh, I'm gonna we're gonna separate your practice session into five minute segments, okay? Like in gym sets. You know the way when you pick up the guitar, most of the time, and you start to start noodling. You start playing around, jamming, doing stuff, uh, and you think of it as you know you're exercising, whatever. You don't, you're not really sure what you're kind of doing, but uh, you're just messing around with a guitar. This is kind of giving you structure, so I'm gonna let you do a little bit of that, but it's gonna be the very last part of it, so stick around for that. Uh, so first of all, we need to get your fingers moving, okay? So what I want you to do, you got four, four fingers using the fretboard uh, all the time. And all of these exercises, you're gonna use all your fingers. Not just the three, which too many of you do, all four. There's no rocket science in holding the guitar. The lightest possible touch that will do the job is the ideal. I want you to become more and more aware of how you feel in your hands while you play. The pain in the fingertips of, you know, which is natural to build the calluses, that is good pain. Any kind of cramps and that kind of stuff, you kind of have to work through them a little bit, but if there's too much tension, then you're pressing too hard something, and then you have to relax more with your playing. So let's go. First exercise.
Got that? So we play all the frets for the first, second, third, and fourth fret um, on the first string, or the, the, the bass string. And then we skip to the third string. I'm gonna talk about, okay, a lot of people say six, six five, four, three, two, and one. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna talk about it the way around because that's just the way my mind works. So this is the first string. Uh, so hopefully you guys can keep up. That's first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Might be complicated, but that's the way my mind works. So here in my glass, that's how it's gonna work. So first string, first, second, third, and fourth fret. Then we skip onto the third string, first, second, third, and fourth fret. And then we skip back to the second string, and fourth string, third string again, fifth string, fourth string, and sixth string. So we go. Gotcha. Then we slide up one position, this is one fret. So your first finger is on the second fret, the yeah, little pinky finger is there on the fifth fret. And this time we go backwards from the, the higher string. Got you? So basically we're doing just the opposite mirror of what we just did there. So we go up with the first fret. That's the basics of, of the exercise. That's the movement you have to learn. And then we just move up, up, up the neck. So basically we go from the... the 12th fret. When your little pinky finger hits the 12th fret, then you come down. You go up the neck and you come down the neck. And we do it with the metronome. As you can see, um, I haven't done the exercise in a little while and there's a li little bits there where I was a little bit hesitant with the timing. Um, so this baby, I'll be doing it for a little while and I'll be back up to speed with it in no time at all. So, and this is really how slow I want you to go in the beginning.
and you think that's it. No, that's not it. You go through that exercise and what I want you to do is put a timer on your phone, five minutes. I want you to keep on going down, up and down the neck for full five minutes, okay? That is as simple as, it'll get your fingers moving, it gets the warm up, it, you, get, you get used to using the little finger as well, which is really important. Very often the little finger ends up being very, very weak. My little finger has as big calluses than any other one of my uh, fingers, so because I use it all the time. If you eliminate that finger and just use these fingers and, and only use that for occasionally for accords, you're done like 25% of your of your tools on that hand, so don't don't ignore it. That's a great, great exercise to be using that for. Okay, these videos are getting very long, so I'm gonna put this into sections. That's your first five minutes of your 30 minute workout. You do that up and down the neck with the metronome and start as slow as possible. Be patient with it, let it roll, let it go smoothly and try to concentrate on playing every note as clearly as possible. As you notice, I was doing there. Um, no, don't try like, and don't try to rush and do them too fast. Concentrate on making every note ring as, as cleanly as possible. If you're finding it hard, you're doing it too fast, so slow down your metronome, go as slow as you need to go, it doesn't matter. This is not a speed game, this is a persistency and like patience game. And at the same time, keep an eye on the fingers. If, if you feel like really hands start hurting, then you're more than likely you are pressing it too hard here at the back and on both sides. And then just, you know, try to be mindful, try to think of how you feel in your hand and just try to relax the arm uh, all, all around here. Um, there's kind of meditation tricks that I use a lot, which is which is like very very simple relaxation trick. Is that you kind of you you think about the hand and you kind of think the muscles in your hand where you feel the tension and you just kind of breathe in and you kind of focus on, on that spot and then you breathe out and at the same time you kind of let it relax the hand. Um, I know some some of you might find that a bit weird, but it really really works. Um, and I've, I've thought that I've got a few mu other musicians and and. A lot of people find it very useful so try to implement that in, into into the kind of keeping the hand as relaxed uh, but as accurate as, at the same time that's the first part of the 30 minutes to be a better guitar player that's your first five minute section and um, tune back for the next section and um, i will put all of these here in the playlist eventually when they're all out as well so you can then watch them all at one go but that's the first part hopefully you enjoyed it let me know in the comments what you think don't forget to subscribe so you definitely get the next episode so subscribe and turn on the notifications and the next episode will be dropping into your email box then to youtube very very shortly um thanks for watching and hopefully you found that useful and let me know in the comments what you think of it talk to you in the next one